Our next guest is a talented actress who you know from her work in films like Definitely Maybe, Hot Rod, and Wedding Crashers she stars in and executive produced the series Wolf Like Me. All episodes of season two are streaming now on Peacock. Let's take a look. You take such good care of me. And you're funny, and you bring me diseased animals to eat. You smell nice, and you're home. You smell nice, too. Mm. I am done with the universe. I love you, and that is the only thing that matters. The universe can go and eat a bag of That's the most romantic thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> Please welcome back to the show, Isla Fisher, everybody. Hi, Isla. Hi. I'm so happy. I've known you for a long time, and Bye. you've been on the show before, but not in studio. So this is a very uh, big night for me because it was during the pandemic, and. You effectively busted me for the massive difference in the way we dressed <laughs> the last time we saw each other. Um, here's a look, and I think it wasn't... It wasn't until you came on that you realized, oh, there's a massive gap here. Yeah, I mean, I looked like I was off to the Oscars, and uh, you look like you got that shirt from J. Crew. <laughs> I think that's fairly accurate. But by the way, has anything changed? It really hasn't, no. that, that looks like my pajama top from J. Crew. Thank you. <laughs> could go maybe to a cocktail party. Yeah, you like, I mean, I will say, like, I didn't know at the time, but I'm like, I think this is me forever now. But by the way, it's a good look. It Thank suits you. you. I try to keep it casual, let yeah. us have a very nice time. I don't know if you've seen how they're dressed. It's a disaster. No, you guys are... <laughs> <laughs> That's why the lights are down. You can't yeah. believe it. <laughs> I will say, we, one of the other tricky things the last time we talked is we were talking about your show, yes. and one of the things we couldn't reveal was that you were playing a werewolf. A werewolf, correct. That was a very important thing not to give away. It was a spoiler, it was a slow reveal. And yes. now, Now we, we can know. tell everybody. Yes, I play a werewolf. And this season starts with a very gruesome scene uh, where a, and I should know, this is a very funny show, but a werewolf uh, bursts out of your stomach. Yeah. This was your idea. Yes, it was. I pitched it, I pitched it to our creator, the formidable and brilliant Abe Forsyth, and he was like, I think it's a really great dream sequence. And so we had a tiny, like, puppet of a uh, baby werewolf that bursts through my stomach and sprays blood on everyone. That's so But nice. I just want to say in my defense, the, 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 the werewolf parts of the show are not as heavy as they appear in, in these clips. And yes. actually, it's a love story, and the werewolf is a metaphor for the baggage that we bring into relationships. And it's really about Gary and Mary and their incredible journey. And now, of course, the complications that come with her being pregnant, and will she have a wear baby or will she have a regular baby? Yeah. And so there's a lot of comedy, but we play it straight. And um, it's just such a gem of a show, and I'm so happy I did it and happy to talk about it because it is sort of quirky and genre-bending and cool, and it's just like... It's a great show. It's very unique. There's nothing else like it. Yeah. You know, we were just talking to, you know, Clive Owen is playing Sam Spade. He can go back and look at an old Humphrey Bogart. But you playing pregnant werewolf, I feel like there's nothing. No. <laughs> like, you're just new ground. Only future <laughs> pregnant werewolves will look at your work. Yeah. I'm probably going to play, like, Cocaine Bear next. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> I'm just going to focus on animals. Yeah. Um, no, and I did a lot of research, and it was quite cute learning about werewolves. And they have these, like, I don't know, little rankings where you're a beta or an alpha or a sentinel or you're, like, a coupling pair. And it was just, it was just really fun. Like, um, I don't do much transformation. There's a couple of scenes. Um, and that, that was actually, like, the most fun because you're doing real physical work, but you're also growling and, of course, Doing it in front of my kids just gets such a big laugh. <laughs> you also, um, I want to show a photo of you in your full makeup, which, uh, again, you might be happy that there's not too much of it because I would imagine it takes forever to yeah. make you look this much like a werewolf. <laughs> like, you're unrecognizable there. That could be anybody. <laughs> it's very nice that you weren't like, no, just get a body double. No, but you know what really sucks is that, like, when he pitched, when Abe pitched me the show, I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe it was Twilight. Maybe it was, like, whatever. But I had a vision of, like, me being, like, a sexy werewolf. <laughs> like, I was like, I'm just going to have, like, little teeny tiny teeth and ears. I'm just going to, like, purr my way in. And, 
And then I like showed up and like my character, like they show my character's breasts. Yeah. And they're like hairy with like massive nipples and like she's like six foot and she's this puppet that lurches. I mean, this is her. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm, I no. mean. If that was what the My vampires... agent would never <laughs> have allowed me to take the job <laughs> if I knew I was gonna look like that. <laughs> Yeah, if the werewolves had looked, I'm sorry, if the vampires had looked like this in yeah. Twilight, a sing, not a single kid would have gone to that movie. No, Robert Pattinson would not be he dating not a supermodel right now, no. No, absolutely not. Um, this shot in Australia, yes. and I'm wondering, so you're from there, yes. do you feel, I would feel a real burden if all of a sudden there was sort of, uh, you know, American actors coming over, because I yes. would assume they count on you to give them the full experience. Do you love that they were there? Well, I do and I did and I tried, but like Josh was very tricky with the kangaroos. Yeah. He's like, Josh Gad is in the show with me, he plays Gary, and he's like, where are the kangaroos, Isla? You're hiding the kangaroos. I'm like, we're, we're in Paddington, like having breakfast. Like we've got to get a little further out into like the outback, but um, no, but what, did he see any good creatures? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's Australia. It's much, does it break your heart that people show up and they're like, where are the weird animals? <laughs> And you're like, they're not the waiters at the cafe. <laughs> no, but you know what? Actually, people come more with the, I don't want to see, because we have like nine or eight tenths of, whatever, the scary snakes and spiders. We have the type yes. We have all the really bad guys. So people don't want those critters and they don't want the sharks at the beach. And it's more like, how can we stay away from them? Oh, but, that's good too. Yeah. Um, uh, I want to ask, because I uh, wrote a children's book as well. You wrote yes. a children's book. And my yes. question to you is, do your kids, I know they're a little bit, I'm obviously older than mine, yes. do the kids, like the books you've written. Love, love to they such do. an extent that they are on an audio book and everybody wants Marge in Charge or Maisie the Movie Star Mart. And it is just, uh, I, oh please God. God. It's like, the it's the greatest thing that ever happened to my life that my kids love my books. I like, I, it makes me want to cry. It's like, cause obviously my film, they're never gonna, are they gonna see their dad, Borat, Bruno? And yeah. Not till they're in their 50s. 30s, yeah. <laughs> Um, and I don't know, they're gonna see wedding crashes? Yeah, I'm pretty I'd wait sure for that I gave too. a hand yeah, job yeah, yeah. scene. Um, I don't know. It'd be uh, so weird when your kids are like, you guys are canceled. <laughs> You're canceled as our parents. No, I think we already cancel ourselves daily in the house. Yeah, oh, through, that's true. I guess yeah. just to, like parents. You gotta get ahead of the canceling. Yeah, just like, like, yeah, you, they and, wanna cancel you out of just yeah. like normal, I'm ashamed of yeah, my parents. Yeah, so go further. Yeah, and just, you're like, you have no idea yeah. what we have yeah, on yeah, DVD. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what an honor to have you back here. I oh, love seeing you, you guys. You. That's Isla Fisher. All episodes of Wolf Like Me are streaming now on Peacock. We'll be right back with Robert Smigel.